Hey, welcome back to Mobility Wad, a special place I'm up in Seattle, Rafe Kelly. We're at Parkour Visions. Now, this is one of the first parkour centers in the United States, right? Yeah, we're the third one in North America. Third one in North America. So what we're talking about is how do we apply some of these range pieces? Sometimes it's very obvious how to see if I'm doing high poles and I'm missing inter rotation, but then the application of movement through space and time, which is really what is so awesome about parkour. And we want to show you today, we've been talking about shoulder and inter rotation. We're going to look at inter rotation, the stable shoulder in extension. And we're going to have Rafe just demonstrate a couple things real quick, and then we'll, we'll show a little mobility about afterwards. We have a, a really cool thing you can see just a second, but in the meantime, so I want to show you, what I want you to pay attention to is what Rafe is going on as he jumps over, what's happening with his shoulders. Remember, the stable shoulder position in extension is an internal rotation. Take it away. Uh, from the side. This is what we call a cash ball. And in cash ball, our body is going to go from the front, uh, hands in front of the bar, to hands behind the bar, to the body in front. Wait a minute, so if I'm missing range, if I can't do this, is it easy to do that? What happens? Uh, there's tons of bad things that can happen to you, but the biggest one is that you just won't be able to do this skill successfully. You won't have power, you won't be able to get out of it. Now, it looks like this thing is for cash ball to practice it, but I think this is the best SOAS mode I've ever seen. Oh, right in the whole world. Anyway, it doubles. So watch what happens. Again, we're watching with the shoulder. Don't pay attention to the ninja. Pay attention to what's happening with the shoulder of the ninja. All the way through. And so he he's doing this. I think as you saw, he's got to be able to come up, come up create that internal rotation torque, and then also you try to push off. Yeah. You do that one more time. I know that you're, you know, you're, you're wearing your cute dancer pants. <laughs> it's up, and then still is able to generate force. What's that look like when we apply? Are you ready to go over there? Ready to show something awesome? No pressure. What, what jeans is that guy wearing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so let's film this from the side. Do it one take here. Oh, we always do it on one take. So Brian's one of our athletes is particularly has a very strong extension, yeah, ability and extension. So you're gonna see the beautiful position he's able to achieve. Jesus. <laughs> okay, we'll go on take two. Yeah, take two. Just take run up with more power. Yep. You see what a simple coach that is? This time with more energy. <laughs> He's on the spot. You can do it. Ah, oh, that's it. Very nice. There we go. Make Amazing, these positions of stability and position of power. So, look, we've been talking about this internal rotation. You've got to be able to create a stable shoulder. Look, we see this jumping, all of the jumping mechanics. The hand has to be turned in. That seems to initiate a lot of movement. So come on over, and we'll uh, let's just show you a quick simple idea. One. What does intro rotation look like on the bar? Overhand grab, intro rotates the shoulder, can bring the hands together to make it even worse. Oh, don't make the face minus one. Caught him. Rib cage in and down, and then he can start dropping the knees down. He can start tying the shoulders back, but adding this element. You'll notice that he's trying to achieve my straight. There he goes, elbow straight. Intro rotates the shoulder. All of that pattern, all that fascia, all that connective tissue, all that stuff winds up in the same position. Could he do this double overhand? Of course. This is a much better position because it actually simulates a much more functional position of having that hand down, which is that intro rotation position at the end. Right? Don't confuse this with also just turning and associating with this. So now we're looking at the whole thing. Let's go two minutes here, contract, relax. Come on over. Go ahead and put on our body. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful. <laughs> Shoulder. Using the band to keep the shoulder in the back of the socket, click, then I can reach around behind, minding that internal rotation, and then I can add a little bit more of that hand across the body and tie that piece in. That'll be piece number two. And the last one, we'll have to our pipe. We lost our pipe. We lost our pipe. Oh, it's still back there. Barbell internal rotation match. We've been seeing that for the last two episodes. Barbell lies, and we're just going to shear through it. Grab two minutes there. That's okay. We're in Parkour Visions. How would I find out about you? Where are you? Parkvisions.org.org. And uh, is this for adults too? Because what's, all these kids are awesome. Yeah, we got kids open gym going on right here, but we teach all levels, and we're available to come and teach anywhere in your area too. Extension, mobility. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.